Eight qualities. If you can relate to most of these, you're a psychic empath. In a simple explanation, empathy is the ability to sense the feelings and emotions of others. Those who are highly sensitive tend to be quiet and are averse to being around other people. They may also have problems letting others get too close to them. Instead, they enjoy being alone and seeking out quiet places to recharge. Being a psychic empath requires you to feel the feelings of others more deeply than normal people. This quality can be helpful for healing, but it can also lead to a feeling of isolation and depression. What makes psychic empaths different is that they can pick up on non-visual and non-verbal cues that another person is feeling, such as pain, fear, or joy. It's also related to detecting energy fields or auras on their surrounding, including people, environments, animals, and even plants. Here are several more signs to look for if you're a psychic empath. And if you can relate to most of this, most likely you're a psychic empath. But before going down the list, please help this channel grow by clicking that like button below. And, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any interesting updates in the future. 1. Extreme Mood Swings Since you can feel and experience other people's feelings and emotions, your body is also affected by those emotions. You may experience a drastic mood swing throughout the day because you're affected by the ups and downs of the force around you. One instant, you may feel extremely happy, and then you suddenly feel really sad because you witness someone who's in pain. It isn't very pleasant and also drains your energy fast. Therefore, it's of the utmost importance for psychic empaths to learn the basic shielding techniques to protect themselves. 2. You have a sharp sense, and you're particularly drawn toward negativity. It might take you a while to realize that you're an empath, but you'll get used to it once you learn a little about your ability. And since the emotion of your surroundings always surrounds your daily life, you have developed a sense to create a distinction between negative and positive energy. You become more conscious of negative emotions around you since it's like a warning that requires you to make certain actions or decisions. Sometimes, it's a call for help. Other times, it's a warning sign to stay away from it. 3. You often feel sick out of nowhere. You can easily sense what the other person is feeling in your own body, as though you're the one experiencing it. For example, if you're with someone who feels sad or afraid of something, you will suddenly feel sad the moment you're together with them, even if you were feeling quite fine just one minute ago. Those feelings may be manifested into physical symptoms. You might suddenly feel nauseous and sick for no reason, depending on how strong the energy you absorb. Whenever you're feeling a strong negative emotion from others, such as fears, Worries and anxieties, your body may react to it and make you feel sick or anxious. 4. You are a deep feeler. You feel and experience emotions more deeply and intensely than others. And it's a no-holds-barred situation for you. You don't just feel sad over something, you may even cry about it. Therefore, you should train yourself to process emotion on a deep and whole body level. Although it seems painful, it's important to your well-being. It's about training yourself through enduring constant emotions in your body, preventing emotional debris from getting stuck and burdening your mind. 5. You're interested in other people's dreams and issues. You are caring and passionate. You may also believe that your existence is partly to contribute to a better world. Therefore, you're attracted to solving other people's issues and helping them as much as you can. Since you can easily tap into others' feelings, you're able to pinpoint the root of their problems and offer extra effort to help those people in need. You help people realize their dreams as if it's your dreams. And at the same time, you're happy for their success. 6. You love solitude. Being an empath is a gradual process. From the point when you learn that you're an empath and how you nurture your ability. You may be gifted with this ability, but it still takes quite a while before you can make the most use of your gift. As you nurture your empathic ability, you begin to realize that solitude is so much better than in the crowds. Thus, you begin to spend most of your time alone, either in nature or in your comfort zone. 7. Social issues can be really draining for you. You know, certain environments such as hospitals, cemeteries, or refugee camps are filled with a lot of painful emotions. You can't just go to such places without shielding yourself. It will only drain your energy and make you unable to do anything. Although you want to give your support and contribute to a greater cause, if you go unprepared, you will become overwhelmed, weakened, or even pass out the moment you feel the intense emotions in that place. 8. You value your emotions. You begin to respect yourself more and value your emotions more as you nurture your ability. You know that by taking care of yourself, 
You'll be able to help others whenever possible and without affecting your overall well-being. You set up a healthy boundary to protect yourself from becoming too drained. By putting a higher value on yourself, you can decide when you need to help others and how you will help. In addition, you also demand the same respect from those that you love most. Well, those are eight qualities psychic empaths possess. And if you can relate to most of them, you might be one of them. It's best if you can use and nurture your ability to the fullest. So, what's your opinion about this? I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you have something on your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to be notified of our subsequent videos. Thanks for watching.